I'm going to show you five wow factor tricks that you can play on your colleagues. I'll make this file available. They won't understand how you've done any of this. After I've shown you, I'll then show you how I did it so you can do it yourself and also learn some little Excel tricks along the way. So trick number one, we can just go and click in any cell and have you heard of the any image function? No, probably not because I've just made it up. But if I put in something like tree, close the bracket and because it's Christmas, I get a little Christmas tree. A nice little feature of Excel is you can do picture in cell create reference and then you can just move that wherever you want. Okay, and then I can edit that little formula to say, well, maybe I don't want a tree, I would like to see Santa. And there we go, or even uh, reindeer. Lovely, the any image function. Like I say, this file will be available and I'll explain how I built it in a minute. All right, next one, the grid image trick. So equals grid image. Okay, again, I'd like to see a tree. There we go, individual cells. Look, clickable cells. Let's go down here and try another one. Equals grid image. Uh, this time let's do a reindeer. There we go, awesome. All right, next trick, the wrong number trick. One, one equals one plus one, four. Okay, we'll come back to that. The XLL function. So you all know about XLOOKUP, okay? Equals XLOOKUP, that value in this column, bring, bring back this column, okay? Enter, beautiful. But what about the X linked lookup? So what do I mean by that? Well, if I type XLL, I can then double click on pick cell, click on that cell. Double click on lookup column, highlight that column. Double click on return column, highlight that column, press enter. Looks the same, right? Except let me turn on focus cell just for dramatic effect. I can now click, see it's a hyperlink and it'll take you to the right number. So then I can change this to a 10. 10 lords are leaping, if I click on it, it takes me to 10 lords are leaping. Brilliant. All right, last one, trick number five, the broken sheet. Check this out. You give that to your colleague and they type in a 10, but the cursor is halfway across. Type an 11 in there equals this plus, hold on, this is saying row three, but we're on row two. You can really mess with somebody's head. All right, there's the five tricks. I'll show you how I built them. Let's go. Okay, the any image function. So essentially what I've got is a sheet here. Okay, this is a little named range. I've typed those names in. I have named that little range as items. And then I've highlighted this little row here and I've typed the word images in that box. Okay, so those are the two ranges. And essentially I just wrote an X lookup. So let's say I put the word tree in this cell equals x lookup tree okay in the range called items and bring back the result from the range called images okay and that brings back the image so that's all i'm really doing but how does any image work well, it's a lambda. You've probably heard of lambdas. So how do I find out about lambdas? Well, on my home tab, I have got the Excel Labs add-in. Okay, I'll put a link in about how you can install that and things. I've got other videos on it. But the Excel Labs add-in allows you to have this little formula panel. And I created a lambda. So in this Excel Labs button, I've created a name already. So let me just go here. Let me come out of this. I went add, I called it any image, that 
that was the name, let me call it any image two. The arguments are going to be called the input cell or the input value, whatever you want to call it. And then the function is simply that xlookup function. So I'll actually go over here and copy it, get rid of the extra bracket at the start. And rather than b10, it's input value. Okay, I haven't, I've got a capital A there for no good reason. And that's the image. I could go done and I can then use that formula. That's the trick. Okay. I then did something very similar for the grid image. Although this is really a dodgy hack. Okay. This is not creating the images. So what have I done here? Well, all I've really got is a image that I already created. So I actually manually created this image in the individual cells, okay, just with a paint, just with a little paint icon, all right? But what happens is when there's nothing in this grid, it goes blank. So this, what, how does, how does that work? And what does this sort of equals grid image do? Well, let's have a look at the formula. It's simply grid image is sequence 1713. So all it's doing is creating a grid. So it's creating a grid of numbers. Let me just do it over here on the right equals grid image. Now the bit I type in is actually meaningless. So when I put in tree, it actually ignores that. That's what the square bracket argument is. It's optional and I'm not even using it. So all it does is create this grid. Okay. Then I formatted the numbers so you don't see them by going right click, format cells, okay, number, custom, and then in here, semicolon, 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 press OK. So all the numbers have gone. And then I've added some conditional formatting to say conditional formatting, okay, new rule. And I've said if equals, and then I'm in, this is what catches people out, W3, okay, equals W3 equals blank. So if it's blank, then format, and I picked a white color, okay, click OK. So if I now format a couple of cells like this, they display because these cells aren't actually blank. They've got numbers in them. I just made the numbers non-visible using that custom formatting. And then if I get rid of the formula, they disappear because conditional formatting says if they're blank, make them white. So that was the hack. Okay. So it's really a bit of a trick. So coming down here, I've already got Santa hiding behind here. So if I go equals grid, it doesn't actually grid image. It doesn't actually matter. This is the trick, whether I type Santa or I type anything. Okay. It doesn't really matter what I type. It ignores that. All it's going to do is generate the sequence of numbers. And then a little image of Santa appears. Okay. There we go. All right. Trick. Wrong numbers. Let's go on to the next one. Uh, how does one plus one equal four? Or how does one plus three equals four. Well, that makes sense, but one plus six should not equal four. All I've done, right click, format cells or control one. I've gone to custom and I formatted the cell to display four. So even though it's showing some other number, you always display four. That just messes with people. Don't do that to people really. Okay. Then the XLL trick. Okay. This is my XLLL space, and it pre-builds a formula for me. How have I done that? Well, I have written this formula. Okay, I've manually written that formula out. It uses uh, a couple of parameters, the input, the lookup column, and the output column. So those using the let statement. And then I made these nice and big and bold. Okay, so I can actually use them. And then this X lookup. I've then hyperlinked the answer as well. Okay. And I've copied that whole formula 
and I've gone to File, Options and Settings. Let me go and show you. So File, Options, Proofing, Autocorrect, and I've replaced XLL, and in the With box I've paste, pasted that let formula. So now wherever I type it, it actually just goes and auto-corrects it. So I'll just do it here, XLL, auto-correct kicks in. I can just go and pick the cell, pick the column to look in, pick the column to return, press enter, and now I've got a clickable link. Okay, wherever I want it to actually go. Let me go to a number 12 there. 12 drummer boys, there we go. Pretty cool. All right, and the final one, the broken sheet. Here we have it. You know, the cursor is part way across the sheet. What's, what's going on? We're in row four here, but if I click on that cell, it says row five. What on earth's happening? Well, this isn't actually the column headings. This is an image. Check this out. If I go, I screenshotted it. So if you go to page layout and I turn the headings back on, see I've actually got the headings here. These are the proper headings. And this is the background image. So if I delete the background image, this is now the proper cells. So all I did was screenshot that whole grid, saved it as the back, pasted it as the background, and then turned off the headings just to mess with people, which is quite good fun. All right, so I hope you like those tricks. Uh, I hope you learned a few little hacks and things along the way. The Lambda ones are quite nice. Um, and I do like the ability to have that little referenced image popped out. It's pretty cool. So you can have the little image in the cell and then you can change this to whatever you like. All right, I'll catch you in the next video. Before you go, check out one of my other videos or playlists and click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.